Hello, Sidemen Reacts viewers, and welcome back to another Sidemen Reacts. Today, you have myself and Simon reacting to strangest last meal requests on death row. Simon. Yes. I pray this never happens, but hypothetically, you're on death row. I thought about me being on death row because of all the... Why? Because of all the crimes I have committed. All like the, what? The purges I have oh, sinned. Oh, you jaywalked that one time in LA. Ooh. Uh, multiple times. I thought, <laughs> right? I feel like death row, like the last meal request, you actually don't get anything. Let's just say hypothetically you're allowed right. anything. I'm going for, boom, I'm going some chips from McDonald's, some chi uh, popcorn chicken from KFC. I'm going mm. for an XL double bacon cheeseburger from Burger King. I'm going for a, a home cooked roast dinner from my mum. Mm -hmm. I'm going for a Shake Shack milkshake. That's all I got. I was going to say, by the time you order all this shit, you're going to be like dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's it. That's that's it. I go one from each place, you know, get the best bits. Maybe a slice of Domino's pizza as well or Papa John's. I'm disappointed. I haven't heard nothing from sides. Oh, yeah. Besides that, you know, I'm eating that all, all my life. Right, so you need That'll a, be okay. in heaven, bro. There'll be sides ah, in okay. heaven. Yeah, yeah, where it belongs. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Sides yeah. will be in heaven, bro. Do you know what I mean? I'm just getting a bit of mum's cooking some J rice with some chicken. But then I want a mixed slushy. You know, oh, bang Get up. me a mixed slushy oh. to wash that down. Do you reckon in heaven there's like mixed slushies? Unlimited that... slushy machines, bro. Yeah, no, 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 but it's slushies that don't. You know how like you drink the first half? solidify. Yeah, a slushy that stays a slushy. Anyway, right. let's see what these people ask for. 20. Okay. Victor Harry Fagger. Victor Harry In 1963, 28-year-old Victor <laughs> Harry <laughs> was sentenced to death okay. by hanging for convicted kidnap murder. For his oh. final meal, the young man had only one request. A single olive with the pit left in. After his execution, the olive pit was found inside Fagger's suit pocket. Why? Contributing to the popular belief that he intended to be buried alongside it so that the olive tree symbolizing peace would sprout from his Oh, oh that's, I like that. That's quite wholesome for that's a really wholesome. kidnap murderer. The thing is, I'm now I'm thinking about it. I might change my last meal and make it something really stupid. Like I want, right. I want a, a nail. What's the point in the last meal? You know, you're about to die anyway. Might as well get something also, funny though. I'd rather make it into a video and be remembered forever. You're telling me this dude is 28? That's not. He no. said he's 28. No, 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 no. But I'm 29. No way. Rewind. <laughs> I think he might have done it when he was 28 and then got. Rewind. In 1963, 28-year-old Victor Harry Fagan. Yeah, no, nah, no. Nah, he's nah. not 28. Nah. <laughs> is that what we look like to the young bucks? But we're older than that. <laughs> I know, but I'm saying, do we look like that? Number 19. Gerald Lee Mitchell. Gerald Lee Mitchell's final meal was even sweeter than Fagger's, but in an entirely different sense. As he awaited his final moments on death row, Mitchell had only one thing on his mind when it came to his Squashies. final meal. <laughs> an assorted bag of Jolly Ranchers <laughs> candy. Close. After finishing the entire bag before facing the final curtain, it's safe to say this criminal intended to go out on a real sugar high. Number nice. 18, Lawrence Russell Brewer. While some have a clear idea of the last thing they'll ever eat, others are totally spoiled for choice. Mm. Taking full advantage of That'd this like unusual me, opportunity, yep. convicted killer and white supremacist Lawrence Russell Brewer decided to indulge in an enormous feast in 2011. He requested two fried chicken steaks with gravy and onion, a mm. triple bacon cheeseburger, a cheese omelet with ground beef, tomatoes, onions, bell peppers, and jalapenos, three fajitas, a meat feast pizza, a bowl of fried okra, a pound of barbecued meat with half a loaf of white bread, peanut butter fudge with crushed peanuts, and Bruh. a pint of bluebell ice cream, all washed down with three root beers. Hey. In the final screw you to the justice system, though, Brewer refused to eat a morsel when the order arrived. Oh, oh my God. God. Texas Dickhead. Senator John Whitmire was so furious that he decided to ban the last meal request in the state. So what? Death row prisoners you have fucked up for everyone. Bro, it was a meal, like. Spot. Number 17. John Wayne Gacy. Like, it wasn't that deep, you know? He fucked it up for everyone. No, nah, but he, that is like, he's done that. He's been a dick. Cool. He was already a dick, bro. He's on death row. Yeah, you should have expected it, really. Another felon who capitalized on his last that meal request was the yeah. notorious serial killer he's John 24. Wayne Gacy, otherwise known as the killer clown Pogo. For his oh, final oh supper, God. Gacy ordered 12 fried shrimp, a bucket of original recipe KFC, mm. french fries, and a pound of strawberries. Mm. Prior to his conviction, Gacy had managed three KFC restaurants in his home city of Waterloo, and he clearly never got tired of that finger-licking goodness. <laughs> Number you know 16. what's worrying me? There's a couple of these people so far that 
I'm seeing like him and the other one that I said something similar to them. And now I'm thinking, is there a trend? Well, we know you're a psycho already, Simon. Okay, We've watched the Among known. Us videos. As long as it's known, I'm okay. For some food isn't Spank the priority at all when it comes down to making a last order. Previously known as a heavy drinker, Spinkalank denied any special food to be prepared, but asked for a single flask of Jack Daniels instead, mm. which he shared with the prison superintendent. Aww. After his death, Aww. the state of Florida's last meal provisions was revised to exclude alcohol altogether. Whoa. But to be honest, going out while drunk doesn't seem like such a bad idea. Hey, That's a good idea, you know. I, I take it back, I would just get alcohol. Yeah, I get sleeping pills. That's what I'd get. Ooh, yeah. Put me to sleep and then just do it. Do you get last meal requests? Just for the chill or for the lethal injection as well. I, I'm not gonna lie to you, Toby. I'm not an expert on the on death row. Let us know in the comments because I can't be bothered to Google it. And Vic's not here. Eileen Warnos. Ooh. Eileen Warnos also requested a beverage before taking her last breath in 2002, but of a different kind. A single cup of black coffee was all she wanted. It may seem like this request was her way of saying, don't even think about killing me before I've had my morning coffee, but Warnos actually had far crazier motivations. In terrifying. fact, she didn't believe she was going anywhere for long, as her notorious last words were, I'd just like to say I'm sailing with the rock, and I'll be back like Independence Day with Jesus June 6. It's safe to say she still hasn't turned up yet. <laughs> Number wait, 14. Wait, I recognize that picture. What picture? The picture of her. I've Christmas. watched this. I've watched the documentary on her. Oh, bro, this picture is oh, I'm gonna see this in my nightmares. Yeah, there's a yeah, there's a Amazon Prime documentary about her. Oh, what she do? Serial killer. Ricky Ray Rector. Ricky Triple Ray Rector R, you know. seemed to have similar motivations <laughs> like when it came name. to his last Ricky meal. Ray Rector. Rector had ordered a tasty sounding meal consisting of steak, fried chicken, and cherry Kool-Aid, followed Ooh. by a slice of pecan pie. Ooh. But he left his dessert untouched. Why? When asked why he changed his mind on the sweet treat, Rector simply said he was saving it for later. Whether this was intended as an ironic joke Aww. or a sinister hint that his return in the afterlife was imminent is entirely up to you. Number 13. Timothy McVeigh What this senseless killer ordered as his last hurrah might surprise you, given the seriousness of his crimes. Oh. All McVeigh wanted to eat before his execution in 2001 was two pints of mint chocolate chip ice cream. Though it's unclear whether one remained chilled as he guzzled down wow, the first thanks. or simply melted into a puddle beside it. To be honest, for a man responsible for 168 innocent deaths, even melted ice cream seems far too generous. Mm. Number 12. David Leon Woods Convicted murderer David Leon Woods spent a whopping 22 years on death row before he was put to death on May 4th, 2007 in I'd argue the weight is almost worse than the fucking Michigan, Indiana. 22 years. When the daunting moment finally came, Woods had a fairly simple request for his last meal. He chose a standard pizza and an entire birthday cake, both of which he shared with his family. Aww. As it turns out, his birthday was actually three months after his execution, but hey, Beggars can't be choosers. Well, you know how tapped it is, like, I'm not going to get into the, the whole death penalty in general, but mm -hmm. see how there was like, there's a window and people just sit and watch it. Oh, yeah. You know how tapped Wait, that is? that is? real? Like legit people sit and watch you die? I think so. Thomas J. Grasso. Oh Thomas J. Grasso was not the brightest of the bunch. And when Judgment Day came in yeah, 1995, yeah. his final meal request right. reflected his questionable life choices. He ordered a plethora of extravagant foods like My two dozen word, steamed plethora. clams, half a dozen barbecued ribs, a Burger King double cheeseburger, and two oh, strawberry no. milkshakes. See? I'm telling you. Of spaghetti yeah, Simon, to be served Simon. at room temperature. I'm, I'm a psycho, you're, bro. You're on psycho. psycho watch, bro. You're on psycho watch. Everyone is choosing something I said. <laughs> He had meatballs instead, a mistake he'd never forgive. As his final words were, I did not get my SpaghettiOs. I got spaghetti. I want the press to know this. <laughs> Stephen Wayne Anderson. Grasso isn't the only one to throw a seemingly random ingredient into the mix when concocting the perfect final meal. Stephen Wayne Anderson was a pretty deadly criminal, but his food choices were interesting to say the least. Before his execution in California in 2002, the 48 year old requested two grilled cheese sandwiches, ooh, a pint ooh, of cottage cheese, uh, a hominy corn mixture, mm. peach pie and chocolate chip ice cream, and well, a big helping of radishes on the side. Yeah, that's not that in it. Number nine, that Peter was weird. J. Minial. Convicted killer Peter J. Minial could give Lawrence Russell Brewer a run for his money for one of the biggest orders ever served on death row in 2004. Does he eat it? Minial confessed to his crimes and was vocal about being ready to pay the price. 
but not before he gorged himself on this whopping order. Oh, he requested got... 20 beef tacos, Jeez. 20 beef enchiladas, two double cheeseburgers, a pizza with jalapenos, fried chicken, spaghetti with salt, and a modest dessert of half a chocolate cake, half what? a vanilla cake, cookies and cream ice cream, caramel pecan fudge ice cream, and a small fruit cake. To wash it all down, Why? he also had two lots of Coke, Pepsi, root beer, and orange juice. Maybe he intended to explode Henry VIII style before facing the music. Number eight. Henry VIII didn't explode. I don't know what that meant. I really don't know what that meant. That food was stupid, by the way. Yeah. Like, I had 20 good. tacos and I thought that was it. Surely you put a limit on it. Well, you just work out like, all right, there's no, surely this Donny can't eat more than- Can't eat all of this, yeah. Yeah. It's He's a simple time. Yeah, but I think you have it the night before. Or you have it, you don't have it like li instantly before, you know, because then the people are waiting to watch it. The sickos are. They got to watch a mukbang as well. Yeah. Number eight. I ain't trying to Velma say that. Barfield. I don't like the name Velma. I'm going to put that out there. Sorry. Barf as, as well. The Barf. sweet, God fearing grandmother became known as the Death Row Granny. Mm. Velma Barfield was the first woman put to death in the US. That actually could be Velma when she's when old. She was executed by lethal and Skippy do Velma. Skippy do Velma. You reckon? Oh. She even had glasses next to her. 22 years when she was executed by lethal injection in 1982. Ooh. But not before she was granted one final meal. A cup of tea, a slice of coffee cake, or a fruit scone might be what you'd expect. Wait, but that ain't a scone. Really wanted was they a said fruit scone. Noodles. That was a cone. That was a, a fruit cone. A fruit yeah. scone might be what you'd expect. But all Barfield really wanted was a packet of cheese doodles and a can of Coke. Yeah, well, you've heard about Christian old lady who also killed six people. What can you really expect? <laughs> Number seven. It's weird, isn't it? Robert Alton Harris. Bra. His we initials are raw. <laughs> it's important to cover all bases. And why agonize over which takeaway to give when you can combine the lot? This is exactly what murderer Robert Alton Harris cool did picture. in 1992 when he requested murderer, a one-piece bucket of KFC a cool of a two large Domino's pizzas alongside oh, man, this bag of Pepsi just... with ice cream yeah, and a bag of jelly tap. beans for dessert <laughs> and a pack said... of camel soup. Listen, Listen, if anything <laughs> ever happens to any of the side men, question this man first. Every single killer is choosing my meal, bro. It's for good measure. Harris is most remembered for his final words, though, which were, you can be a king or a street sweeper. But everybody dances with the Grim Reaper. Hey, boss. Kind of prophetic for That's a season criminal. Ball, you know. Write that down, right? Number that down. six, Ronnie Lee Gardner. Plenty of death row criminals have used their final meal as an opportunity to make smart choices. And Ronnie Lee Gardner was certainly determined to make his sitting last as long as possible. He didn't go too overboard on his order of steak, lobster tail, apple pie with vanilla ice cream, and a 7-Up. But he also had another request to watch the Lord of the Rings trilogy while he <laughs> Surprisingly, Gardner was permitted to do so, and with a combined runtime of more than 11 hours, this must You can do that? That ain't part of a meal, ever. bro. Number five. I feel like everyone else got cheated experience, out. bro. Everyone it's else got experience. cheated out. I'd be there like, nah, I want to go watch one final game at Ellen Road. Nah, nah, you can't leave the vicinity of the, of the prison, bro. All right, well, get me the entire Star Wars <laughs> series. Yeah, give me every Star Wars film. I'm going to watch it all in one. Philip Workman. Gluttony was the last thing on Phillips' mind when Ill. he requested mm. his final meal. His final request was for a large vegetarian pizza to be given to a random homeless person. Aww. But prison officials refused to do so, and he ate nothing. In a surprising well, turnout, on the day of his death on May 9th, homeless shelters in Tennessee received large amounts of vegetarian pizzas Aww. from people all over the country. Aww. So at least he did one good deed before his death. Number four, like Angel Nieves yeah. Diaz. Philip Workman may have gone hungry because of his strangely like selfless hands. request, but Angel Nieves Diaz deliberately turned down his last meal. As he didn't order anything special, Diaz was served the regular Wednesday prison menu of shredded turkey with taco seasoning, cheese, rice, pinto beans, tortilla shells, apple crisp, and ice cream. As surprisingly well, I made nice that as that nice. sounds, Diaz mm. refused to eat that too. And in his final words, he condemned the death penalty as a form of vengeance, but also a cowardly act by humans. Number three. Um. Oba Chandler. Oba. For his last meal, he ordered two salami sandwiches on white bread with mustard and peanut butter, and a grape jelly sandwich on white bread with iced tea and a coffee. And with mm. all that bread, it's safe to say, another one bites the crust. Nope. But
No. No, sure, man. And in the description if you no. To no. You can't do no. it. No, because that's based on the death penalty. You can't have yeah. a. You can't sell a T-shirt based based on the death penalty. That's immoral. Conklin clearly had expensive taste as he requested filet mignon wrapped in bacon, deveined shrimp sautéed in garlic butter, with mustard, baked potato with sour cream, chives, and bacon bits, hey. corn on the cob, Ooh. asparagus with hollandaise, yeah. sauce, French bread with butter. Talk oh. dirty to me. Cantaloupe, oh. vanilla bean ice cream, and iced tea. Oh. Number one. Yeah, that was bougie. James Edward Smith. So number one, His convicted surely. felon had one of the most bizarre last meal requests ever recorded. When it came down to his final meal request in 1990, all he wanted was a lump of soil. What? Although some have speculated that he did indeed intend to chow down on the dirt. Others have suggested he planned to perform a voodoo ritual as the soil was specified to be the Rekunda type associated with witchcraft. As oh, dirt was what? not on the list of foods permitted by prison regulation, Smith's request was denied, and he was served a cup of yogurt instead. <laughs> what? Which of course, is the only reasonable alternative. That's not, so, that's not you reasonable. Order? You can't go from dirt to yogurt, though. I mean, you can. You did. What was your favorite one? You know what? The olive tree one was really wholesome, man. The first one was actually really nice. Yeah, the olive tree and the vegetarian pizza. Through. Veg yeah, the veggie pizza was nice. But too. I'm, I'm going to be honest, though. If it was me, I'm probably taking that one. <laughs> <laughs> Probably taking the pizzas and KFC. Oh, this well, actually made me really question myself as a person, you know. We've been questioning you this whole time. So I can have a life. I can question my entire life. And the fans will join us too. Thank you guys for watching. Question Simon down in the comments below. And we'll talk to you next time.